All right, welcome back to another episode here with Milo Lyons, Henry Fall. We're out here at Superstition Mountain. Another part to our athletic series. We're talking about boxing today. Hit me up. Oh, <laughs> Throw in some punches. Okay, everybody, so you wouldn't think that throwing punches necessarily would have that much to do with hitting a golf ball, but I would say it actually has a lot more to do with it than you think. When, if I want to throw an uppercut like this, what's happening? Well, you're using, you're engaging your core, your center, right? At least good boxers and martial artists are, right? Yeah, they, the, the force all comes from the middle of their body. They're not throwing this and then their body, they are. And this is why their posture too, you look at a lot of martial artists, their hips are kind of underneath them, they're rounded, like they're ready to take a punch. They're, they're ready, right? They're not so, like this. So they're in what some would call hollow body. So you're, you're kind of engaged your core to begin with, yep. right? So then you can use your body to throw, to, to, to make your hands go fast with force. Yeah. So definitely. What other things can we think of that are similar? Yeah, I was thinking, I mean, and actually Gary Player used to talk about this. I'll put a picture in the video. As he talked about from impact, basically up to the finish is feeling like it was an uppercut. Right, so maybe a little more extension, but there was also that, that rotation with that as well. And I would say when you throw in a big hard uppercut, you know, you're you're extending your spine up and back. Your pelvis is kind of extending. Yeah. So it could have some... And you're doing it, you sort of have this, this tilt, this left hip backing out of the way as well. Yeah, so there could definitely be some similarities between a golf swing and, and throwing an uppercut. Yeah. You know, some really good ball strikers don't have as much extension. I'd say the guys who hit it the farthest probably have quite a bit of extension in their golf swings. The guys who hit it the straightest probably have a little less. Mm -hmm. so, so I like kind of a blend of those things so that we can hit the ball both far and straight. Yeah. Um, but yeah. The one other thing I like with that visual too is like when you think of this uppercut, the right hand, the trail hand, kind of stays matched with the face here on the side or slightly under that shaft. So it's kind of yeah, like... So you wouldn't throw an uppercut like this. Right. Exactly, where that face isn't rotating over. It's going to be an uppercut like that. Right. So same idea. So to me, I just I like that visual component too, but the, the aspects of boxing when it comes to the core um, and, you know, basically that maneuver right there, you see in a lot of sports, but we see in boxing as well. So For sure. I think pretty much any sport where you're trying to send force out into your hands, it all originates in the middle. Yeah. Well, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to get better at this game, come over to MiloLinesGolf.com where we can show you how to swing like an athlete.